Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your Lyric alarm system to Alexa. So the first thing we need to go over is the Lyric system does need to have an active Total Connect 2.0 account in order to connect it to Alexa. Now Total Connect 2.0 it's an application that you get from your alarm company. Um, for those of you who are monitored with us, you know that Total Connect is pretty much included in almost every single one of our plans. It's the uh, Honeywell or Residio app that allows you to go ahead and control your alarm system from your phone or from a website. Now, the reason why you need Total Connect 2.0 is because Alexa doesn't actually integrate directly with, to with the Lyric alarm system. It actually has a Total Connect 2.0 skill that you need to enable on your Alexa app and I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a second and in order to have Total Connect 2.0 you need to have an active service uh, with an alarm company for your Lyric alarm system. Now some companies out there only offer you the application with central station monitoring. Companies like us have central station monitoring with the app and then we also have self monitoring plans if you don't want central station so if all you want is just the app we do offer that and if you guys want to find out more you guys can always contact us so now i'm going to go ahead and get into the actual pairing of the total connect account and with the alexa app so the first thing you want to go you want to go ahead and do is get your tablet, your iPhone, uh, your Android, your smart device, whatever device you're using, you need to open up the App Store or the Play Store. Um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and download Amazon Alexa. You're gonna log in using your credentials. Uh, mine will automatically be logged in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, get my iPad ready here, one moment. All right, so I already have the app downloaded, so I'm just gonna search for it. As you see right there, Amazon Alexa comes up in my Siri suggestions. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Amazon Alexa. It should take you to the home screen if you've already logged in and if you have your auto login. If you don't, you just need to log in. Um, from there, if you look towards the top left, there's a little menu icon. It's like a hamburger sign, three horizontal lines. I'm gonna hit that. And the first thing you need to do is go to skills and games. You're gonna search all skills and you're gonna type in total mine already starts auto populating it but just in case I'm gonna type in total connect 2.0 now you need to make sure you need you type in total connect 2.0 not total connect come for not anything different total connect 2.0 is what you need to search for once I have that typed in I'm gonna hit search and you're gonna get two things that come up notice how the second one says Honeywell total connect comfort that is not the one that we want. We want Total Connect 2.0. Now, once you get that, you do need to enable the skill. Once you enable the skill, you need to log in using your Total Connect 2.0 credentials. If you do not have Total Connect 2.0 credentials yet, this will not work. You need to get the system activated and you need to get your login information for Total Connect 2.0 first. So, after you've verified that you have your Total Connect login information and you've done all of that and you've downloaded the skill, you've enabled it, you're now at the linking process. So right now what the uh, Alexa is trying to do is it's trying to have you log in with your Total Connect 2.0 credentials. That way it can link in the application and it, it could integrate, um, it could, they can integrate together, okay? All right, so after you've entered in your username and your password during the uh, Total Connect login integration on the Amazon Alexa, it's now asking you if you want to allow um, basically Honeywell to share all the, um, pretty much all the devices or like the status of your system, the arming, the Z-Wave devices. Uh, you're obviously going to want to hit allow if you want to integrate them. So I'm going to go ahead and hit allow. And now it's going to bring up a whole bunch of things like all my cameras and everything. Just, uh, I know it brings it up in the app. However, even though they're checkmarked, I can even checkmark all of them. The cameras will not show up. So like the F parking lot, back hallway, reception, B parking lot, testing camera, pit. Those cameras will not show up on the Amazon Alexa. But you do want to make sure if you're looking at having your automation sync into Alexa as well. That way you can have Alexa actually control some of your smart scenes, um, pre-configured smart scenes. Then you want to make sure you have automation checked. And you also want to make sure your security system is checked so that you can use Alexa to check the status of your system or arm and disarm your system. So I'm just going to leave everything checked. Like I said, the cameras aren't going to pull through. Only the automation and security system will. I'll hit connect for now. And you will see after 
it's connected, it'll say total connect has been successfully linked, what to do next, and it'll give you some examples of things you can do. So now that I have my Amazon Alexa account linked in with my total connect 2.0, you're going to see I have my lyric system up here in a disarmed, uh, ready to arm state. So now if I want, I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, Alexa. Hey Alexa. I don't know. Ask Total Connect, what is the status of my system? Your security system is currently set to disarm ready. See, disarm ready to arm. I can also say, hey Alexa, ask Total Connect to arm my system away. Okay, I am sending the arm away command to your security panel. It takes a little bit for the commands to go through because remember, Alexa has to communicate to Total Connect, then Total Connect has to send the command down to Lyric. As you saw, probably took about three seconds for the command to go through. Um, now, one thing that you can't do with the Alexa is disarm. Why? Because if somebody breaks in, they say, hey, Alexa, disarm my system. That's going to be a security breach, and it's just not something that Honeywell or Alexa allows at this time. So the only thing you can do is ask for the status. You can arm your system away or stay. I'm going to go ahead and disarm at the actual panel myself. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Time. Right? And then another cool thing that you can do with Alexa, if you have pre-configured Z-Wave scenes, you can actually tell Alexa to run a scene. Um, you're going to want to know the name of your scene. So for instance, there's some pre-configured ones that say like vacation, um, bedtime, uh, away or stay, you can actually tell Alexa to run those scenes. And depending on if you have Z-Wave devices linked into those scenes, like for instance, if I set, if I pre-configure my bedtime scene to lock all my doors, turn off all the lights, turn the AC down to 75 or whatever you guys want it to, um, if you tell Alexa to run that scene, well, that's gonna trigger all of those Z-Wave devices that are in that scene to enable or disable whatever you guys have them pre-configured to. Um, now again, just remember in order to use the Amazon Alexa with the Lyric, you do need to have a Total Connect 2.0 account. That is the only way you'll be able to link them together. If you guys want to find out more, feel free to send us an email to support at alarmgear.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable notifications so when we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George and I'll see you guys next time.